This is a Game Caviar production. I know a lot of times I rag on Activision and Treyarch and Infinity Ward and Call of Duty for making a horrible, horrible game technically. But to start off this video, I am going to report or talk about something that's really cool and something that may affect me one day. Uh, Activision, uh, this has just been reported, but Activision has donated uh, over $2 million to a charity that helps veterans transition from the military to civilian life. It's, uh, it's called Call of Duty Endowment. That's the name of the charity. So, let me see here. I'm reading it off the screen. It is... Uh, Call of Duty Endowment, a charity it founded in 2009 to assist military veterans return to civilian life. That's pretty cool. It is, you know, Call of Duty is a military shooter. Uh, of course, blah, duh, you know. But it, it's cool that Activision is actually helping veterans and and uh, giving back to to people who have served the country. You know, I mean, that's... It, I wish that things like that would happen more often, and I know it does happen a lot, but there are a lot of people that that have a lot of misconceptions about the military and veterans, and and uh, a lot of the times uh, we as veterans get overlooked. I say we because I'm actually in the military, and I know how it is, but this is a bright spot, okay? And it's really cool. So, for this video... <laughs> For this video alone, I will give Activision, Treyarch, and Infinity Ward a pass on any criticisms. Of course, I'm playing Call of Duty, Black Ops, the first Black Ops. I still, I still like this game. Uh, before, I, I actually, uh, let me tell you a little story about this game. I got this game, well, not me, but I was deployed when this game came out, and... Before this, I played Call of Duty, but I never played online. And the way it was, when I was deployed, we had a bunch of... Well, we didn't have... We had downtime. And in the downtime, we got to play Call of Duty. And it was... It's just a bunch of guys sitting around playing video games, man. And that's really how I got good at Call of Duty and first-person shooters online in general now I'm <laughs> ghost it never fails I, I'm never I'm not saying that I'm like the elite the one of the most elite players of Call of Duty or first person shooters but I will say that I used to suck at first person shooters like seriously uh, online I think I tried to play Call of Duty I tried to play Modern Warfare 2 online and I just I couldn't get my my mind around it so Actually playing with those guys that I was deployed with and and really getting to know the ins and outs of the game, uh, it really helped out a lot. Actually, we played Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. So, you know, Infinity War and Treyarch, those are two different games, of course. And it really got me into building a strategy in order for me to get better at this game. When I came back home, I had uh, some leave because after you come back home from deployment, they give you leave, and I took some extra leave, and I just played Black Ops straight for like 30 days, and that's all I did. And from when I, when I first started playing, when I was deployed to the end of the my uh, my R and R, when I went back to work and everything, I had gained so much skill and so much uh, ability in the in the game that I surprised myself. So. Uh, that's this just I mean that's just how I became uh, good at Call of Duty and I say good because I'm a lot better than I used to be trust me I used to be horrible in this game horrendous and I just I read this story and I just wanted to let you guys know that in the midst of all of the active active Activision bashing and Treyarch bashing and Infinity Ward bashing it's this is just something good that I can report on and that other people I hopefully will pay attention to uh, again active duty I'm, golly Activision Jesus Christ Activision 
donated over $2 million to Call of Duty Endowment, a charity that helps veterans transition back into civilian life. And it's not really, it's not that easy going from military to civilian. Uh, I know a lot of people who've done it. Some people have really done good and I'm happy for them and other people are struggling and it's just hard to do that, especially if you have a job that doesn't transition well to civilian life. But anyway, this has been Call of Duty Black Ops on Xbox 360. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.